How to Import Sales Without Inventory Data in Tally Prime Using Excel for Tally.com Log on to Excel for Tally.com First register for free on Excel for Tally.com And if you have already registered your ID then choose the Sign In option. Now select the Sales Without Inventory template by clicking on Try Free option. From here you can download our Excel file format, in which you will have to copy and paste your Excel data accordingly. Over here you have to select what type of data you want to import. And over here you will have to create a company, to which you want to import your Excel data. And if you have already created your company, then just select it from here. Now download the Excel format file, from here. Now open the Excel file after it gets downloaded. You can open it from here, or from the downloads folder also. The Excel format file will open in protected view by default. And to copy and paste your Excel data you need to click on the Enable Editing option. All the red columns are mandatory. And these columns cannot be kept blank. All the black columns are not mandatory and can be kept blank, but you cannot delete any of these column headings whether you need them or not. If you are using any of a ledger such as these, then you must have to create those ledger in your tally company data, and if you already have them created then you don't need to create them again. If you are using cost centers in your Excel data and you have not created them in your tally company data, then you will have to create them in your tally company data, and if you already have them created then you don't need to create them again. Now save your Excel data file before proceeding to process it on Excel4Tally.com. Open the Excel4Tally portal again. Check this box if you want to create any of the ledger in mandatory columns directly.
but if you have checked this box and the ledgers in the mandatory columns are already created in your tally company data. Then take care that there is no change in the ledger data inside your company data and Excel data file. Because if there will be any change in your Excel data ledgers in the mandatory columns, then after importing your data to tally company data, it will change or alter the ledger's data according to the new Excel data imported with the change in ledgers. Now select the Choose File option to browse or select your Excel data file that you want to import in Tally Prime. Select your saved Excel data file from here. And then click on Open option. Now click on the Process Excel Records option to generate an XML file of your Excel data file. After processing completes the XML file will start downloading automatically. As you can see that the XML file has been downloaded. And you can open it from this arrow button or from the downloads folder also. Now right click over here to copy the location path of the XML file. Now open Tally Prime. Now press Alt plus O or click on Import option. Now remove the old path copied and paste the new location path of your newly generated XML file over here. Press Ctrl plus V to paste the location path and then hit on the Enter button to start importing your data to Tally Prime. By pressing Alt plus F2, change the time period according to our data that has been imported. As you can see that our sales data has been imported successfully. Our data has been imported. 